Welcome back to another Dazzling Rose Clay creation. In today's video, we'll be sculpting Pom Pom, originally a boss from Super Mario 3D Land and World. In the last few years, she's been gaining popularity since she's shown up as a playable character in Super Mario Party and then in Bowser's Fury. I'll be using my Jack Specific Boom Boom and Wendy Koopa figures as a reference so I can make Pom Pom the perfect size. I want her to be right in between the size of both of them. To start sculpting Pom Pom, I'll be working from the bottom so I'll create her legs. Her legs are very similar to her brother Boom Boom but slightly smaller. To make the creases and bends, I'll use my silicone tool. I'll cut a slanted edge at the top where I'll be attaching them to her body and then add her toe claws. After that, I'll bake them in the oven. For her body, I'll roll an oval shape and press the solid legs into it. I'll set that aside and start working on her arms. I would have done Pom Pom in one of her cool signature poses, but I opted for a more casual stance so she fits in with the rest of my Jack specific figures. Before adding the arms, I'll cut off the top of the body to make it flat where the head will go later. Then I'll use my plastic knife to create the details on her belly. Next, I'll attach her arms. I'll be positioning one up and one down so she can hold her weapon or other items. Next, I'll cut out some thin strips of clay to wrap around the base of her arms and legs. Now I'll bake her once again. I decided to just paint on her fingernails because it was a lot easier. To make her shell, I rolled out a ball and flattened one side against my table, then I pressed it on her back. For the spots, I flattened down a bunch of orangey balls and scraped them up with my clay blade so I didn't ruin the round shape. Then I pressed them in until they were flat. To finish the shell, I rolled out a white snake and wrapped it around the edges where it connects to the body. Then, I added her small tail. Now it's time to start making her head. I carved out a space for the eyes and inserted some white clay. To fill and set the clay inside, I'll use my ball tools. To frame her eyes and make the lashes, I rolled small pieces of black clay and attached them with my X-Acto knife. And for her eyes, I'll press on each color in layers. After that, I'll make a hole on the top of her head for her ponytail. I'll roll some yellow clay on my table to create the shape and then shade the inner side of it using orange eyeshadow. I'll also create two green balls to make her hair tie. Time to bake! For her final step, I'll be adding on the lower part of her face. a lot of back and forth detailing to get everything just right, but after I got it all good, it's time to bake her. And really quickly, I decided to make two of her weapons that she had in the game, a pink shuriken with a bow and a boomerang with a bow.
After baking those, pom-pom is complete. <laughs> If you like this video, check out my other Nintendo creations on my channel and don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time!